If you ask me how was my first day of an Ashes Test match, I will say it's completely, completely electrifying. We have seen everything. Runs have been scored, wickets have been taken, we have seen a Vizaya declaration, we have seen a Joe Root 100. So yeah, there is everything on day one of this Ashes Test match here in Birmingham. And how can I sum up the day? I mean, I mean, it's, you know, I think, I think, it's just we are we are in going through an you know epic times if you consider test cricket and its future there is a lot of talk about test cricket and its future uh, whether it will survive or not whether the crowd will have interest in five day cricket or not but let me tell you one thing england the way they are playing their cricket they are aggressive brand of cricket and here aggression doesn't mean that they are just going for runs that is not ex- exactly their aggression their aggression is their their first prime goal is to entertain the crowd and that's what i mean it, when they started the baseball basketball last year i asked johnny besto about it and johnny besto specifically told me in a press conference here in birmingham only that we want to entertain the crowd we don't want to play boring cricket so you know the way england is playing is cricket and if other teams start following it then I, I can tell you that test cricket will have will go into a different era altogether actually we are experiencing this you know this change and these are these are their these are epic times I believe like look at the way England have played their cricket they won the toss chose to bat they scored five runs uh, you know or maintained the run rate five runs per over and with with few overs left in the day and eight wickets down with Joe Root batting on a hundred, they declared. Nobody expected that. Who would have expected a declaration on day one of a, an Ashes test match when like they were like 3, 9, 390 odd for the eight down? Any team would have expected another 40-50 runs or they would, they would have talked about those psychological pressure of 450 and all those things. But England doesn't believe so. They believe that if they can get to Couple, uh, one wicket early with the new ball and then they, they will put the pressure back on the Aussies and that's what, that's what they have tried but you know Aussies the Australian openers play uh, you know they survived the new survived the last few overs but still uh, the decision has you know has been the talking point of course but apart from that the way Joe Root has batted Johnny Besto has batted England were like 170 or for 5 from there they, the partnership they shared and they took the score to th- close to 400 runs and not being not and that too by playing aggressive cricket i think you have to give credit to this england team and sub ben stokes captaincy brendan mccallum's input as a coach overall you need to give credit to the, the, the to the you know service english english they are doing towards test cricket they are making test cricket interesting and I, I was seeing the social media trends back in India also a lot of people were talking about these matches a lot of the cricket and test cricket fraternities following this as a test match so you know test cricket is well and truly alive thanks to this approach by England I hope Australia will also live up to their expectations they have a very good batting lineup the wicket is flat so we can expect some uh, you know fighting cricket from us from the Aussies tomorrow overall again to follow race sports will will you know we are experiencing this on first hand see at this from the venue and we'll try to bring all these updates to you on this platform this is Sandeepan Banerjee signing off from the edge master